With the Riverside iPhone app, you can record high quality video and audio content and share those conversations with the world. We've made some updates to the iPhone app to make it even easier to use for yourself as the host and your guests. Let's show you what's new. We've updated the onboarding process, so whether you're hosting and logging in or joining as a guest, we give specific instructions on how someone else can join your studio to record. If it's your Riverside account or you're hosting the recording, you can log in here. In your account, you'll see your list of studios. If you have a business account, you'll see both your productions on top and the studios below. Let's jump into a studio to start recording. Now that I've joined the studio, I'm going to invite some guests to record with me. Send that guest link to whoever you'd like to record with. You'll see here at the bottom, there's a new three dot menu. When you tap the three dots, you'll now be able to see all the participants currently in the studio. You'll also see a new feature here called Mute Speaker. The Mute Speaker option is really helpful if you want to use multiple mobile devices to record several angles of both you and your guests. If you're using multiple iPads, iPhones, or Android devices in person with you, you can always use the secondary camera feature in the Riverside app. We have a whole video walking through the secondary camera feature. You can check it out above or the link in the description. But for those who want their remote guests to also have multiple camera angles, you can ask them to set up their mobile device as a main camera and then maybe their iPad or Android devices for those secondary angles. Before, audio coming through those devices might have caused echo and feedback, but now they can choose this mute device option use those other devices for multiple camera angles for those remote guests. They log in with the same guest link that they used on their main device. And now you can have multiple angles, both for yourself in person with secondary camera and for your remote guests. For those on our business plan, you can now access private chat and use our presentation recorder. And those are viewable on your mobile device. For the private chat, you can tap the speech bubble at the bottom and now message individual people in that private chat. And you can also view the list of conversations here. Then if someone starts sharing slides using our new presentation recorder, whether that's PDF, Keynote, or PowerPoint, those slides will also be viewable by all of your guests tuning in in the Riverside app. They will still see the other participants' video at the bottom in small thumbnails. While those tuning in from a mobile device won't be able to control or start the presentation, they'll be able to view it just like everyone else in the recording. Finally, we've improved low data mode on mobile devices. If you as the host or producer enable low data mode to help the flow of conversation, those on mobile will see just a letter initial for the guests instead of a freeze framed image. And finally, under the advanced section of your studio settings, if you've chosen to manually pause or resume uploads for you and all your guests, you can choose to pause the upload here from the desktop and that will control the mobile device uploads. Those are some of the new updates for the Riverside app on iPhone. If you'd like to learn more about presentation recorder or just how to use Riverside, subscribe to the channel. You can check out the video playlist above or in the description to learn more about creating a studio, advanced studio settings, and if you need help building a video podcast setup or just learning why you should put your video podcast on YouTube, we have videos for that as well. Links are in the description. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.